I want to give a warm welcome to all our friends from the media, our partners, business associates, fans, and all those who are watching us live. Welcome to the Real Me GT2 Series special event. Real Me was established in 2018. In just three years, Real Me has become the fastest growing smartphone brand. And none of this would have been possible without all of you. In quarter three of 2021, Realme became the fastest smartphone brand in the world to reach 100 million units of cumulative shipments and join the top six smartphone brands worldwide. Support and love from our young users around the world is what has allowed us to grow from an underdog to a brand whose products sell at record-breaking speeds time and time again. These are Realme's achievements but they are also the achievements of our users. Realme is a very small yet focused tech brand. Our goal has been to serve the global youth with cutting edge, innovative products. In just three years, a lot of you have become part of the community and have been a great inspiration to us. You have been there alongside us in our relentless pursuit of great innovation. Together, we have been challenging the status quo of the industry and exploring what's possible. Today, I'm going to share with you the next great thing. We are taking a leap and will create a genuinely premium flagship smartphone developed specifically for you, the Realme GT2 Pro, and it's anything but typical. We know what you are looking for in a flagship phone, top of the line in all aspects whether it's hardware parameters or software features. We included all the most exciting premium features and technologies you could hope for in the Realme GT2 Pro. Today, I will introduce three of them that I am sure will be of interest to you. Producing cutting edge design has become part of Realme's brand DNA. As the first high-end flagship phone for Realme, we want to make a good first impression. And this is a bold attempt to do just that. Since Realme was first established three years ago, we have worked with world-class industrial designer Naoto Fukasawa to create a master design for a number of our smartphones. These fashionable models, which combine traditional and modern elements, have not only been well received by our young users, but they have also received recognition from design award judges around the world receiving extremely high praise. While pursuing an aesthetically pleasing appearance, we have always been actively exploring new materials to better realize the designer's wild ideas and thus meet your needs for quality and style. We firmly believe that good design is a combination of a designer's keen insight and innovative materials. We have worked with Naoto Fukasawa once again for the Realme GT2 Pro to bring the same high level of ingenuity to this master design. We're calling it Paper Tech Master Design and it's inspired by paper with a very premium, minimalist look overall. We'll be announcing the real look soon so stay tuned, you're gonna like it. When we released the Realme GT Master Edition not long ago, it was at a time when the world started to enter the post-epidemic era, and we wanted to bring back those feelings of travel and exploration through our bold voyage design. What will be the thinking behind the design of Realme GT2 Pro? Before we talk about the design, we need to talk about a hot button issue, global warming. We're at a pivotal moment in our history, and this issue is at the heart of the Paper Tech Master Design. One of the main culprits of global warming is carbon emissions. According to statistics, as of now, the carbon emissions of all human activity in 2021 are projected to exceed 36 gigatons. This represents over a 24% increase in carbon emissions over the last 15 years. This is equivalent to 100 times the annual emissions of global volcanoes or 
the total emissions of 1.1 billion Boeing 747s in a year. Chief among the causes is human activities such as the burning of fossil fuels and deforestation. Every generation is handed a challenge for their time. For Generation Z, it's a battle against global warming. And they have been up to the challenge, so much so that they are appropriately regarded as the sustainability generation. They have held companies accountable through their consumption habits. 60% of Gen Z respondents said they would be willing to buy eco-friendly products made from discarded items or materials. Protecting the environment is a major proposition and the ultimate goal of sustainability cannot be achieved by groups or companies alone. It can only be achieved collectively between responsible companies and individuals who have sustainable spending habits. Real Me wants to try to take a small step in exploring a more environmentally friendly design with Naoto Fukasawa. And we want to let our young users participate with us, gathering the strength of a collective to do something for environmental protection. When this idea was conceived, the first issue that we needed to tackle was the material. What should we use to build the product that combines sustainability with style and quality? All roads led to the same destination, a collaboration with Sabic, a leading global materials company. In accordance with their expertise, we selected a biopolymer material that is known as the key to a green future. This material is not only environmentally friendly, but also as strong and durable as traditional materials. So what is a bio-based material? By definition, they are second generation biomaterials that do not compete with the food chain. It can effectively reduce carbon emissions from human production processes and is an excellent alternative to fossil raw materials that contribute to global warming. Compared to conventional materials that come from fossil feedstocks, SABIC bio-based materials can reduce carbon emissions by up to 63% per kilogram. At the same time, Bio-based materials can effectively reduce the material industry's consumption of petroleum, replacing up to 35% of potential fossil feedstock consumption. Bio-based materials are homologous to paper, derived from renewable raw materials such as fallen leaves or paper pulp. Through a series of complex processes, these renewable materials were skillfully transformed into a reliable material for making the back cover of our smartphone. All this to say, we are bringing you the world's first smartphone designed with bio-based materials. We're calling it Paper Tech Master Design. Sabic bio-based material has not only passed the ISCC International Sustainability and Carbon Certification, it has also passed other extremely stringent environmental regulation standards, such as REACH, ROSE, and EP. There is no doubt that this is a very promising, eco-friendly material, and we hope to see its widespread use on smartphones and other highly advanced tech products in the future. We're not just paying lip service when it comes to environmental protection. This objective has extended to the way that we do packaging. We adopted a new box design where the overall plastic ratio dropped from 21.7% in the previous generation to 0.3% for this model. We even took it a step further by addressing the printing ink used for the color box and manual. We selected a low toxicity, high reusability, biodegradable soy ink. When stacked next to traditional ink, this soy ink reduces consumption of the already scarce petroleum resources, indirectly reducing carbon emissions and contributing to the protection of the environment. Thanks to a collaborative effort with our design studio and Sabic, as well as our adoption of new eco-friendly packaging, with every 1 million GT2 Pros with Paper Tech Master Designs sold, equaling 3.5 million 
fewer plastic bottles being produced. Our slogan has been, dare to leap, and we're walking the walk. In this moment of history, waiting is not an option. Environmental protection is a worldwide problem. And as a young company, Realme certainly can't solve all the environmental problems in one initiative. But like our Gen Z users from around the world, we have the courage to rise up and take that first step. We will continue to explore the future of technology with our role as a forerunner in environmental protection at the heart of our decisions. And we're calling you to join us. As for our innovation of design, that's what we have for you today. We are excited to introduce our sustainable design, but the appearance of our phone is much more than that. We had many discussions with Mr. Naoto Fukasawa regarding aesthetics. You can look forward to seeing the final result of those talks. Next, I'd like to introduce our innovation of photography in the GT2 Pro. Photography is the modern form of expression. Real Me's philosophy in photography has always been to empower young people's expressions of creativity. Over the past three years, we have launched many industry firsts when it comes to hardware and software features. All of these have been designed to enable you to use your creativity to explore the world and record those moments that you don't want to lose to time. Are you ready for another first? With Realme X3 Super Zoom, we unveiled the world's first starry mode, which allows you to capture your own version of starry night right from your phone. In addition to starry mode, we also developed the world's first starry time-lapse video feature on Realme 8 Pro, which can record the trajectory of the stars with stunning images. We also brought the world's first tilt-shift time-lapse video feature on the Realme 8 Pro which can turn the real world into a fairy tale, where buildings and people are turned into microscopic models, giving you a godlike perspective. When it comes to hardware, we're becoming notorious for bringing breakthroughs every year. For example, in 2019, we released the first phone with an ultra-high 64 megapixel camera, ushering the mobile industry into an era of unbelievably high definition. Then, in 2020, we released the industry-leading 60-time ultra-zoom camera. And honestly, who needs a telescope when you have a 60-time periscope zoom on your phone? More importantly, what surprise do you think that we'll bring this year? We will make the world's first 150-degree ultra-wide-angle camera on a smartphone. I could tell you all about how wide the 150 degree field of view is, or you can experience it for yourself in this graphic. The field of view for the main camera of most smartphones is 84 degrees. The visual range of your images will experience a 278% increase with the 150 degree ultra wide angle camera. The second largest field of view in a phone is 128 degrees. And our 150 degree ultra wide angle camera has a vision area 20% larger than that. A wider field of view naturally lends itself to taking amazing pictures of landscapes and buildings. Let's show you some samples so you can feel its charm. Of course, with a little extra thought, you can apply that wide angle technology to make all sorts of interesting photos. You can unleash your inner Van Gogh for surreal photography. And for those of you worrying about the camera adding a few extra pounds, the ultra wide camera can counteract those effects. With such great hardware, the software features naturally have to keep up. We have developed the world's first fisheye mode on a smartphone. This feature is inspired by the camera industry's fisheye lens, which can produce a strong perspective or ultra long depth of field effect. With a large field of view, the overall picture becomes even more visually appealing. Let's see the fisheye mode in action. We can only make educated guesses for the ways our industry leading ultra wide angle camera can be used by smartphone owners. So we're calling you to expand the barriers of smartphone photography and unleash your creativity. 
That wraps up your introduction to how we've innovated photography. We can't wait to see what pictures will come from the mobile industry's first 150 degree ultra wide angle camera and the first fisheye mode feature. Finally, the time has come to introduce our third innovation, innovation of communication. With the rapid development of the mobile gaming industry and the rise of esports globally, more and more young people are playing games on their smartphones. Today's smartphone chip performance is getting more powerful, complemented by the improvements in high refresh rate screens. As a result, the experience of playing mobile games is getting better and better. But there is no perfect smartphone. I've asked many of our young users for input, and they responded saying they still encounter a lot of areas where mobile gaming is lacking. For example, network latency, heat throttling, and poor battery life. Heat dissipation and battery life have always been the strong points of Realme phones, which have been introduced to you in our previous launches. But one area that we still need to discuss is signal, and that's my final area of focus today. That being said, the Realme GT2 Pro will be equipped with a revolutionary antenna array matrix system. This system consists of three technologies, the world's first ultra-wideband hypersmart antenna switching technology, a Wi-Fi enhancer, and an advanced 360-degree NFC technology. So let's run through the details, starting with the world's first ultra-wideband hypersmart antenna switching technology. That's a lot of words to remember, so let me simplify it. This technology has two main features. One is that it supports a very large number of frequency bands, and the second is that its antenna design is beyond advanced. The Realme GT2 Pro supports 48 mainstream global bands, covering more than 150 countries and regions around the world. If you live the jet setter life, this means you can get signal almost anywhere, as long as you brought your GT2 Pro. As for our antenna design, just what makes it so advanced? In order to fully appreciate it, let's start with some competitor designs. They generally only have four antennas, two at the head and two at the bottom. Can you anticipate what kind of problems this creates? Let me give you a hint. It's called death grip. Gamers often need to hold the phone at the top and bottom ends simultaneously, blocking the antennas, causing a significant drop in signal. That was them, and now this is us. The Realme GT2 Pro is designed with 12 wraparound antennas that cover all sides of the phone and support mainstream bands in almost all directions, all with the same signal strength. This way, when you're in the middle of an intense gaming session while engaging the death grip, your phone's signal will stay alive. The antennas at the phone's waist can still send and receive signal. Based on this wraparound antenna design, we developed an industry-leading, free-switching antenna technology. This allows your phone to intelligently judge the signal strength of all antennas and automatically select the one with the best signal. For example, let's say that you were using the signal from the waist of the phone because you were gaming, and then you received a phone call. When you answer it and switch your grip to the lower end of your phone, the Realme GT2 Pro can automatically switch to the antenna on the upper part to send signal. HyperSmart antenna switching technology is particularly effective in some weak signal scenarios, such as crowded train stations, university campuses, elevators, and subway stations where the space is relatively closed. We made special signal optimization for these weak signal scenarios which enables our GT2 Pro to identify usage scenarios and intelligently prioritize the strongest network configuration. After conducting thorough testing in these weak signal scenarios, the GT2 Pro with HyperSmart antenna switching technology had up to a three decibel improvement in signal compared to the previous generation phone that does not support this feature. To put that into perspective, that's almost a two times improvement we also compared it with a flagship phone without the hyper smart antenna switching in the industry. And we found that the GT2 Pro's 
5G signal has a significant advantage in reducing lag in weak signal scenarios. Lots of phones are designed for optimal conditions, but let's face it, you're barely in an optimal scenario. So it's only fitting to have a phone that can intelligently solve these challenges. Next, I want to introduce our Wi-Fi Network Enhancer. Firstly, we designed our Wi-Fi antenna to use a symmetrical design. This has many benefits that we'll explore further. As can be seen from these two images, the use of a symmetrical Wi-Fi antenna design causes the signal strength around the phone to be more balanced. This ensures if the distance from the router is held constant, no matter what position you're sitting in or in what room, you can receive practically the same network signal. We call it omnidirectional Wi-Fi technology. After testing, the use of symmetrical Wi-Fi antenna design improves signal stability by 20% over asymmetrical Wi-Fi design. In addition to our omnidirectional Wi-Fi technology, the Realme GT2 Pro also uses the most powerful enhanced Wi-Fi 6 in the industry today. Not to mention, it also supports dual Wi-Fi network acceleration, 5G, and Wi-Fi network overlay, as well as many other software features to give you a Wi-Fi network experience greater than you can imagine. Last, but certainly not least, I'll introduce to you a very practical 360 degree NFC technology. Almost all current smartphones have an NFC antenna placed on the back. This kind of design can only succeed when the back of the phone is placed near or against the sensor. Therefore, it requires a high level of accuracy in terms of distance and location. Let me use a common scenario that I've run into as well as many people I've talked with to illustrate this point. When I'm rushing to work in the morning and trying to pass through the subway gates, I have to slow down and carefully hold my phone over the NFC sensor to scan my phone. Often, I have to swipe several times before it actually triggers. And the last thing that I want before I've had my morning cup of coffee is to miss my train because I couldn't get through the gates. We asked ourselves, why can't we design a phone that can trigger a sensor from 360 degrees? Wouldn't that be so much more convenient? You may have realized that this was a rhetorical question. In any case, the answer is yes. For that reason, we upgraded the current NFC antenna design scheme, integrating the top two cellular antennas with an NFC signal transceiver function, thus forming the NFC three antenna array. As a result, we have increased the sensing area by 500% and enhance the sensing distance by 20% compared to traditional NFC solutions. The morning rush is a game of inches, and I'll take any percentage improvement that I can get. The entire upper part of the GT2 Pro senses NFC signals in either direction, which makes it very convenient to use the NFC function to swipe your card or smartphone. Let me show you. That's all the updates that I have for you today related to the ways we're innovating communication. The ultra wideband hyper smart antenna switching technology and Wi-Fi enhancement system allow you to experience a faster and more stable network. You gamers don't have to endure lags or latency when playing games any longer. The 360 degree NFC function can make your life more convenient and get you to work on time. These are the latest entries in our relentless pursuit of great innovation. I'm proud to say that the Realme GT2 Pro is a high-end flagship phone for the next generation. All its hardware and software features took our young users into deep consideration. What we have introduced is just the tip of the iceberg. There are so many more hardware parameters and software features waiting to be discovered by you. You can look forward to the official launch of our Realme GT2 series. We will definitely be bringing you more surprises. Finally, I wanna say thank you again to all our media friends, our partners, business associates, fans, and all those who watched our live broadcast. I wish that your tomorrow 
is greater than your yesterday. 